Welcome uh, to this uh, tour of uh, in and around uh, Log Haven. It'll uh, be approximately uh, 45 minutes uh, in uh, duration, and it'll be composed of uh, seven different uh, Aperture uh, slideshows that uh, I will uh, narrate as you watch. The first being a uh, two-minute slideshow of uh, Rainbow Lakes, uh, the community within which Log Haven is located. And then a long, long road, a three-minute slideshow of the four different approaches to Log Haven. And that is followed by a cur curbside appeal, a one-and-a-half-minute slideshow of all the exterior of Log Haven and the barn, the detached garages that you can see from curbside. And then in and around the uh, front yard, a uh, seven-minute uh, tour of everything that you can see in the front yard. And that is followed by exteriors, a uh, five-minute tour <coughs> of the complete uh, exterior of uh, Log Haven uh, and uh, the uh, detached garage, the barn, from all perspectives. And then a 10-minute tour of uh, the backyard, which means uh, everything except the uh, front yard and except the uh, back 40, which is the remaining half of uh, acre uh, behind uh, Fern Creek. And that'll be a six-and-a-half-minute uh, tour, so uh, slideshow. So with that, uh, let's get the first one going. Some uh, have uh, musical accompaniment. And uh, some don't. So uh, here we go. Yeah, so this is downtown uh, Rainbow Lakes. Uh, I would suggest you either listen to me uh, and don't read or read and uh, turn off uh, the sound. Uh, so I'll just describe what I see without uh, reading the uh, text. This is the uh, community uh, beach area, uh, one of the uh, perks that you uh, receive with your uh, $500 five, uh, family uh, annual membership to the uh, Rainbow Lakes uh, Community Club. Uh, yeah, this area was uh, recently improved, uh, uh, the dam area. Here is the country club. Here's the view from the back of the country club over the largest lake, Rainbow Lakes. Now we're going to walk along Rainbow Trail, the tennis court. Yeah, okay, here's an approach of the clubhouse. Now we're uh, looking uh, down uh, the road from the clubhouse and walking towards the uh, volunteer fire department. This is one of the two entrances to uh, Rainbow Lakes on the Fox Hill Road. Rainbow Lakes is actually in Parsippany, but has a uh, Denville uh, mailing address. Now we're walking back uh, from which the way we came. Now we're going to look at some of the original homes built by Arthur uh, D. Crane when he uh, developed uh, this area in the uh, early 1900s as uh, summer homes. But many lots were sold uh, without houses. Uh, this is the house that I lived in uh, from 75 to 88 before Log Haven. It's called J. Yokes. It was one of the original homes, the of Chestnut. And uh, that's uh, that tour. Okay. So, uh, to continue, a long, long road. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> this is Long Road uh, from uh, the uh, east. This is uh, Log Haven. has a large uh, lawn to the right, as you can see, but hardly any on the left. Now we're in the uh, ballpark across the street from <clears throat> Log Haven, and uh, we're going to approach... Yeah, so this is a flagpole there. Uh, this is the ball uh, park. Yes, this is where I walk uh, my dog every day. And this is one of the two paths coming back from the ballpark to uh, Long Road. Log Haven would be uh, to your right. Uh, 
That's looking to the left. And here we're looking towards Log Haven. You can't quite see it yet, but we'll walk that way. There you can see the shed dormer. Yes, and the metal roof. Deck for Shake by Carter Holt Harvey. The substantial uh, chimney and landscaping work. Nice curb appeal. Now we're back at that uh, ballpark and we're going to take uh, this uh, second uh, path from the ballpark uh, to uh, Log Haven and this uh, comes right across the street uh, from Log Haven and uh, I'm actually the uh, maintainer of this uh, trail. <clears throat> I have an endless uh, supply of wood chips as you will be seeing. And there you can see the barn across the street. The wood chips uh, keep uh, the moisture in and the uh, weeds out. You can see a fire hydrant there. It's uh, very nice, insurance companies and uh, fire company. You can see the uh, mailbox has the uh, same roof as uh, the home. This is uh, looking uh, across that uh, stone uh, wall, and this is a very convenient uh, place to uh, blow your fall uh, leaves and uh, grass clippings. Uh, it's a, I keep it uh, level. I don't keep it in a pile, but it essentially is a, a very large uh, mulch pit. Nothing uh, but organics goes back there. Now we're walking out of that area, and we're going to walk all the way to the uh, front door. Again, there's that mailbox. You can see the nice uh, textured concrete uh, driveway and integrated sidewalk. <clears throat> yes, this was last, uh, this is uh, 2012, summer. And uh, that uh, hedge has uh, had a little uh, winter damage. And this is the view from the uh, front porch. And I think we're done. So, uh, next on the agenda, curbside appeal. I think that's just, yeah, yeah that's just a minute and a half, so this will be a quickie. And this is, again, uh, looking, looking at everything uh, that you can see from the outside, but not only from the curb. We'll walk around the complete uh, property. Oh, this is something like a curbside appeal so far. Yes, that's a 25 by 8 uh, foot uh, front porch covered. Now, storage area underneath, which you'll be seeing. There's that uh, mailbox, log cabin mailbox with this uh, metal decor shake uh, roof, roof. 50 year uh, guarantee and uh, guarantee against 125 mile an hour winds. Uh, th those, uh, that roof is very popular in uh, California because it's light and the fireproof. And here's a Bowmanite. This is that uh, textured uh, concrete uh, driveway. There are lights uh, under each step, along with uh, that lamp post. They're both on the same timer. And they're on a dimmer, too. So you can put it at the intensity that you like. This is uh, looking down uh, east. That uh, orange spot is the actual property line uh, corner. The curb is actually uh, two foot uh, into uh, the uh, road. Okay, here we are. So, yeah, that one is over. Oh, I did the wrong. I pushed the wrong button here. What did I do, what did I do here? Oh, I think I pushed this button. Yeah, uh, that, yeah I screwed up. I need to push this button. And the uh, F, let's see. Okay. Did we do the front yard? Jeez. Oh, no, we did. Yes, I can't remember. Here, I got all messed up here. Okay, here we are. Now we're back on track. Now, uh, this one doesn't have uh, sound, so I'm going to accompany this uh, myself. <clears throat> and again, I wrote, uh, read the text. I'll just uh, try to keep up with uh, what I'm saying. And this is a, a sequential approach uh, from the uh, barn to the front porch, rather slow. 
so you can see all the details. These uh, plants just act like uh, wicks, taking uh, moisture from the ground and uh, turning it into uh, plant material for the good uh, sun. Yeah, late morning and afternoon uh, sun. Covered porch. That uh, you can see that's terrace to each uh, step in the uh, driveway. I mean, in the uh, sidewalk. Oh, nice, solid. I have uh, caulked uh, with silicone uh, between all the logs. Very solid. Built to last. Yeah, I did read that one. Privacy, uh, yet light, <coughs> inviting. <coughs> Dutch door. They look good from uh, both sides, uh, day and night. All the uh, stained glass windows are indoor windows. Uh, none of them are exterior windows. This is the kitchen area. That's supposed to keep uh, birds from perching there. This is uh, X10, uh, too, way too complicated to uh, explain, but uh, very convenient. Those uh, Christmas lights wash the wall. It was a very nice summer last year. There you can see the lights. What's nice is you don't see them when you're walking down, but you can see where the steps are. Good for trick-or-treaters, as that says. Oh, this is a long slideshow. We're not even halfway through. Yeah, these uh, rhododendrons that uh, do very well, but they uh, do get uh, winter burn uh, because there are cold winds that uh, whip along that corner of the house. So this is a uh, northern exposure. Uh, mostly rhododendrons with uh, apple vitae. Nice uh, terraced uh, planting beds. Yeah, this adjoins the 35-acre open spaces uh, area behind, so uh, there'll be no more uh, development in this area. So you can see what that morning sun does. The uh, previous owner, as myself, usually plants, uh, you know, when you do your landscaping, you usually plant your plants too close together. Even though I was aware of that, I did uh, make a few uh, mistakes. This planting bed is just about right. Although that hedge has a hard time in the winter. Of course, nor do I. Yeah, that uh, spruce was a uh, new uh, planting. There were uh, way overgrown Austrian pines there that had uh, died away. So there's a, essentially been a, nearly a complete uh, replacement of uh, uh, trees and uh, landscaping, <laughs> especially since uh, 2003 when the uh, landscaping uh, was done with the terracing with the uh, retaining walls. This uh, southern magnolia just uh, can't uh, take those winters, even though it's a northern variety. Good drainage. All the uh, runoff from the roofs and the uh, driveway all go direct through four-inch drain pipes uh, directly into Fern uh, Lake, which you haven't seen yet, uh, but which uh, goes across the property behind uh, Log Haven. This gate, as you will see, is easily uh, removable, so it's really just decorative. In fact, a bear broke uh, through it one time. This is a nice little shaded area between the log haven and the barn. Although there's a minimum amount of sun be between here, so you have to pick your plants carefully. 
and make sure they don't overgrow their space. Now we're going to see that uh, hidden area under uh, the front porch. Although it's a little difficult uh, because it's only 28 inches high, it is good outdoor storage for oversized uh, pieces that can take some weather. Uh, you don't even notice it uh, there, but you will soon. Yeah, it's this. This is the secret here. That's a, just a curtain. So you just uh, remove that. Watch your head on those hooks. There is a light, but the, uh, the well, there, I should say is there's a light source. There's no light in there currently. But uh, as you can see, there's a wall, and it has paved. And you can uh, go on your belly across there, and it has these uh, racks here for storage. And it has extra roofing material and uh, plumbing material, as you can see, plus uh, plenty of cobwebs. It's filled with leaves, but uh, so what? I hardly go down here. And this is a, a, a review of, you can see the mapping of all the planting beds and where the soaker hoses go and where each plant is. And the key code to each plant, you'll see, is on a listing here that uh, gives the uh, plant's name and its uh, description and its likes and its uh, dislikes. And I guess uh, that is the end of the front porch uh, slideshow. So, whoops, don't want to hit that one. That's what I did last time. Okay, I do learn. Now, the exteriors. Okay, here we go. So, now we're going to walk all around uh, Log Haven and look at is its exteriors. There, uh, we're, we're looking at the... Uh, Western uh, exposure here, so this is afternoon uh, sun uh, that you get. Uh, that's the uh, master bedroom above the kitchen on the right. Uh, so, uh, it has cathedral ceiling on the left where the living room and dining room is with those uh, sunlights. This is where Starry Night is. Here's a look from the back now. Yeah, so you can see now it's quite a large home. It's essentially T-shaped, uh, so the front is uh, wider uh, than the back. Uh, so it's shaped like a T, but it has uh, two stories plus a full basement. And this uh, full wraparound deck. And 11 of these uh, garden windows. And a uh, storage shed under the sun porch with that small uh, garage door. Fenced in uh, backyard. Oh, you can see all the uh, downspouts uh, going to the uh, drainage lines and uh, the many uh, birdhouses uh, that surround uh, Log Haven and the barn. There's that uh, stable chimney. Hasn't moved. Major uh, downspout that catches all the water from the uh, front <coughs> roof. There it goes straight, straight in that pipe. There are faucets available. And here's uh, the garden windows. Uh, there's uh, basically, th uh, I think, three different sizes. And you can see you have a first major improvement was that uh, sun porch. Four Seasons uh, Laminated Cedar Sun Porch. A whimsical flying pig. Another garden window. That's the guest bedroom. Oh, not there. That was the master bedroom and the kitchen. Master bedroom and kitchen. Wrapper on deck. Good morning, son. Yeah, major outdoor lighting with these mercury vapor lamps, all interconnected with this X10 system. And that includes uh, wiring to the garage. That uh, cupola there has a, a light on at night with the weather vane above. Quite decorative. Perfect for that garage. There you can see it's an automatic, uh, it's an optical timer. And those uh, bat boxes used to be occupied for years, but uh, not since uh, White Nose uh, Syndrome. There's only been occasional visitors. <coughs> you can tell by the uh, bat guano. Or I never disturbed them. Flying squirrels uh, do occupy uh, some, many of the uh, birdhouses in the back. But uh, all of the, uh, almost all of these birdhouses are occupied year-round by sparrows, uh, 
because I uh, have feeders uh, throughout and a heated uh, water uh, a uh, bird bath, which I keep clean for them. I hope you do the same. And this uh, used to be the uh, a previous owner built the house, and this was his office in this <coughs> a separate uh, door. But I removed that uh, wall, so now it's just uh, about 600 uh, feet of open, uh, let's say, two and a half uh, car garage plus a full attic, lighted and uh, carpeted, easily accessible. So bird houses, uh, bat houses, and the mercury vapor lamps. Now this is the view from the uh, wraparound deck of the, uh, this is a major uh, ga two gable vents uh, that I custom made. So the attic space is very well vented. And it has that perch le ledge that's uh, sloped away from uh, the barn for the birds. That's why they love it there with a feeder on the corner. That's a motion detector uh, light. Uh, there you can see the feeder. And I guess that one's over. Yeah, so we're going to check out the backyard now. Okay, so uh, this means everything except the front yard and the back 40. So it'll include the fenced in area, the uh, wraparound deck in more detail. Here we're looking at the door from uh, the house uh, to the covered area of the wraparound deck. Again, we're looking over towards uh, that the barn. There's the fenced-in area. You notice that double gate that lets the uh, riding mower into the fenced-in area so you can mow that area with your mower. Or, uh, oh, I think four uh, Purple Mountain bird houses. houses uh, there, there, uh, there really aren't Purple Mount Martins in the area, but the bird houses look uh, very nice. Yeah, this, this uh, slideshow has a lot of detail, so I speeded up uh, some of these uh, slides uh, where it goes into more detail that you would want to see, but <clears throat> you should know that everything, virtually everything uh, that you're seeing is included with uh, Log Haven, including that uh, barbecue, but I might say the right uh, burner has uh, gone out, so uh, it's only the left burner that works. These uh, turn into uh, picnic uh, benches, as you can see. Very practical for the area. Exterior speakers can be moved into the basement, and you can have four speakers in your basement because there are two there already. And with the leftover roofing material, I made that uh, large uh, doghouse on the left. Let's see, for uh, the dish, if you use dish, motion detector X10, winter uh, doghouse. Actually, that can be converted to a winter doghouse too. And a nice little uh, gate there that you can uh, slide in to keep any access or egress. All this uh, decoration. So this is the covered area of the wraparound deck. Uh, the uh, eastern portion is uh, open. And the northern northern uh, portion is now the uh, green, uh, green uh, sun, sun porch or greenhouse, whichever you prefer. It's more of a sun porch. So here's the eastern. Uh, good morning, sun. You can lay uh, naked out there if you want to and get a full uh, sun bath. It gets quite real warm in the summer. It feels very good. There's a good access. That sun porch provides a good transition from the uh, living area to the outdoor area. And uh, provides a good view, too. A peacock window is in the uh, office. Now we're looking down. Nice uh, sunny area. Now we're looking back to the uh, living room. Now we're under the uh, wraparound deck. You can see that's the major support for the deck. Uh, another downspout goes into that drain, which goes into Fern Creek. Outdoor faucets, uh, mercury vapor lamps, uh, that was an X10 device, more birdhouses, 
nice little cat door, a sliding glass door into the uh, basement. And here we're going to see a lot of decorative items that I'm going to leave here. Uh, but I've speeded up the uh, rate. Uh, there's a nice hot and cold outdoor shower. And this is a very, very nice uh, cool sitting area in the summer. You can hear the speakers from above. This is a wood storage rack that I've now uh, decorated with uh, many antiques. Mostly antique uh, pulleys. Yes, it's a uh, commemoration to uh, Henry Mercer. That's why the uh, Doylestown uh, sign. I also have a commemoration to uh, Benjamin Franklin. There's that heated uh, bird bath. That's uh, from the uh, dryer. Now we're going to go through all these uh, pulleys here. So I speeded up here, uh, pulley by pulley. There's a story with each one. That Hinman sign was uh, original. There's a Doylestown, that's uh, called a Wiffle Tree. Endless uh, variety of pulleys. That's a horse bit. Belt pulley, that's a reamer. Nautical pulley, heavy duty, big time. A reaper. I finally stopped collecting when I ran out of room. eBay made it uh, so easy. And you get such a variety. Yes, yeah. I think when you see the variety, you come, come to like them. And they're, they're all out of the way. And you'll still soon see a lot of uh, what I'll call uh, lawn ornaments or garden uh, decor. Those uh, logs came from the uh, sun porch when I made uh, windows into doors. Okay, I think we're about done with the uh, pulleys. Here's some good overhead storage for odd sizes, uh, pieces of lumber. I can never throw away a good piece of wood. Now we're going to get in, let's uh, see, I think, okay, we're almost done. Oh, no, 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 let's see, we got the, uh, yeah. So this is the uh, shed, the uh, storage shed, uh, sun porch storage shed. Yeah. The door doesn't close uh, anymore, I know. There was a little, little sledding, it needs just a little adjustment, I, so I leave it open all the time. I don't think there's any need to lock it, but you can lock the area, I mean the, the, the uh, room, because the uh, overhead door is lockable too. So all the stuff that you would expect uh, here, uh, plus the above ground uh, oil uh, tank. It has electricity, it has that uh, overhead door. It has that good uh, storage there for oversized uh, pieces of wood. There's the, you can see the lights. Uh, here you can see the uh, lockable overhead door. There's the light switch and here's the uh, oil tank. Recently installed. The underground oil tank removed with all the appropriate approvals and permits. The floor of the sun porch is insulated. You can see the insulation there. And this ladder here is very convenient for getting on the roof from the wraparound deck. It's perfect. All that wood there. Now we're going to the fenced-in area of the backyard. And this is the planting behind the barn, which helps stabilize the foundation of the barn. There was slight cracking there, but there has been no movement since I purchased it. There's that big double door. We're getting your riding mower in. There's also another door on the back. I think we'll see it. I actually enjoyed uh, that landscaping uh, job, although it cost a arm and a leg. It uh, certainly got the results that I wanted. Now, now we're walking back from that uh, double gate, and you can see the gate on the right there. And you see all the uh, whirly gigs that uh, decorate most of the uh, fence posts. Yeah, very nice uh, Japanese lace leaf maple there. Be 
between the log haven and the barn. And this this guy has got, oh, he's a, he has solid cement. Oh, what a gargoyle. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. And uh, more recently, I uh, planted all of these hostas. They do very well under the uh, Japanese uh, lace leaf maple. And uh, among them are hidden all these nice little garden ornaments. So it's a very peaceful area. Many birds have frequent the area. The hidden garden is always nice to have a surprise in a garden somewhere. And there are a lot of surprises under the maple. Okay. Another gargoyle. There, now we're looking towards the north side. There you can see the overhead door was open. Now we're going to go through all those uh, whirligigs. Most of them are getting rather tattered now because I bought most of them all at the same time. I have a few retired. These guys are getting a little rusty. Here's a look at the... Uh, Back deck again, the uh, stairs, stairs were replaced, double the stringers, I did it myself. There's entrance to the uh, basement, that's really the way you go in and out, from the uh, basement to the uh, barn, there, or through those steps. The planting, uh, here and there, we're done here, Kermit the Frog. So, I think we're nearing the end here, and we're, uh, what are we, at? oh, okay, we're up to 32 minutes, that's good, so now it's the back 40. So, there's this uh, Fern Creek that goes across Log Haven, across the lot, we're actually in the front uh, yard now, looking at between the properties, uh, so we're approaching the back 40. So this is, this is the side yard. Yeah, we actually didn't get a good look at this uh, from the backyard. So, so, the, so this is the side yard I consider part of the backyard. But, but we need to get to the back 40, which you're seeing behind you there. It'll become clear in just a moment. Okay, so there's the barn. We're walking now down, but we're, we're not going to go into that fence. Now, this is a major uh, uh, dry rock creek for because there can be major runoff uh, on heavy rains i mean a significant amount of water comes down this lawn so it is caught by this uh, dry uh, riverbed and uh, actually it soaks in uh, through the wall before it uh, gets uh, down uh, to the bottom there. so it's as much uh, decorative as it is uh, functional okay uh, now we're going to start uh, approaching I think we're going to take a short look at the, uh, yeah, here we are. So here's a beautiful maple here. Now we're just looking in that gate, but we're going to go down. And all these uh, terraced uh, retaining walls were necessary because of the gradient uh, difference uh, between the uh, long road and the back of uh, the lot. So here we can see how uh, things had to be elevated. And let's see, where are we here? Okay, so we're, we're, okay, now we're going to cross the land bridge, which is the transition, yeah, from uh, the backyard to the back 40. Now we're right on the land bridge here, looking across to both ways. There's a, a bamboo and a wine barrel on either side. It's a decorative uh, raccoon. This is a street sign, Fort Johnston Road and Log Cabin Lane. That's a decorative rock that has uh, one of the uh, many sewer cleanouts. Uh, pagoda. Gargoyle. It's a very large uh, Notre Dame gargoyle. Oh, a bird feeder. Yes, you'll see several. There's two. One is a thistle, uh, one is a millet. Dinosaur bone. 
Yeah, I put this wisteria on this uh, dead uh, scotch pine. It's doing uh, great. It's going to look really good this year. So the back 40 is a transition. It's not quite as formal as the uh, backyard. But uh, nevertheless, it isn't uh, completely uh, natural. So I think it's a good combination between the two. It's just a filtered uh, sun under the uh, canopy. Good sitting area. Different sizes. Another uh, Martin house. Get a sparrow once in time. Major bird feeder there. Bear safe. Goes up and down on pulleys. Pet Hill. Bat boxes, uh, uh, two bat boxes back there. Uh, no, uh, two big ones, about six little ones, and about, uh, oh, I don't know, 30 or 40 birdhouses. Extra uh, bird, uh, deer lick. Another Martin house. There's uh, one of the two in the back. This is a leftover lumber from the uh, project, landscaping project. So that's the back, back of the property. Now we're looking back towards the 35 acres of open spaces. This is left, left, leftover Belgian uh, block from the uh, curb by Burnham. That one got broken off by a major branch falling. There's not a lot of sun under the understory. And the uh, wood, kip, uh, wood chips uh, keep uh, the weeds under control. But it does uh, require maintenance. Many ornamental grasses have uh, established along uh, both uh, banks of uh, Fern Creek. And I've actually uh, dredged uh, Fern Creek too. So if you look uh, the length of Fern Creek, uh, this is the best part of it. Because there are other areas have uh, mucked up uh, so much that they, they really don't have standing water as, as I do. It's got quite a job. Now, uh, we're near the end of the slideshow, and this is going to go through, I guess there are 26 uh, birdhouses in the uh, back, and that's just the uh, birdhouses in the back 40, so all of these are included. There's uh, two major types. Uh, this is the larger, more significant type. It's clad in uh, copper. I made it myself, a stainless steel. Oh, I could tell you something about it. It's uh, ventilated. It's uh, squirrel protected. But uh, honestly, uh, I think it's because of location. They're not occupied too much except by uh, flying uh, squirrels. <coughs> it's the uh, birdhouses around the uh, barn and the uh, log haven that are popular. I think it's because they're safer. Well, uh, they, although these aren't too safe, uh, it, it's the uh, it hawks is what they have to worry about. Because you'll see just a scatter of feathers every once in a while. This is the other chalet type. It's a little smaller. And that's uh, some of the uh, smaller uh, bat uh, boxes there. And we're near the end. So I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, then uh, please uh, join me on the uh, next slideshow, which will be inside of Log Haven. Coming soon to a theater near you.